Well, I want to see uh, Elizabeth's close observer. She writes regularly and covers the legislature. I was a senator uh, back in 1970. In the 70s, uh, we never had, there, there were words that took place, but after the session was over, everybody went out and socialized, stayed around Baton Rouge, uh, never any hard feelings, and never the division that you see right now. And quite frankly, I was a, a statewide official in the 80s and the 90s, and I've never seen, seen such a time of, of despondence, of uh, confrontation, uh, of uh, uh, negative feelings that come on. I, I spoke last night, Elizabeth, to the uh, Chamber of Commerce up in Concordia Parish, across from Natchez, Mississippi, several legislators in attendance. And they said the same thing. They just uh, said they're just so frustrated after the special session and now getting into the new session to where right off the bat, we've seen some very uh, heavy vocal confrontations uh, uh, that I think uh, your paper played out today involving uh, Senator Appel and legislation involving charter schools. Uh, give us your view. Am I misjudging that or is this really a very divisive time at the state capitol? You know, I've talked to um, a lot of uh, members over the past week. Uh, I am working on a story that we'll be running in The Advocate this weekend um, about this topic. Uh, and just about everyone kind of gives the same analysis. You know, when I ask them, do they feel like uh, things are particularly tense right now or acrimonious? Everybody says that, uh, that, that they're feeling it. You know, Monday night, um, the House was in session till after 8 o'clock at night on bills that you wouldn't think would keep them there on, you know, a week into session that late at night for anybody who knows how uh, the legislature around here works. They don't tend to stay that late in the evening, especially not this early in the session. So um, it, and a lot of it was, uh, you could tell it was just, it, there was tension at one point. Um, Representative Ted James from here in Baton Rouge, uh, from the well, he called for everybody to kind of just chill out a little bit because you could feel the tension in the room. What, what do you think, if I could follow up with you on sure. this, uh, is the tension a uh, a anti-view, a pro-view involving Governor John Bell Edwards? Do, do you sense, uh, is it a Republican versus Democrat? Uh, where Where is the division? Is it black, white, uh, or is it a combination of all those things? I think that um, from talking to members, uh, trying to get at this issue, uh, people feel like there's just it's just kind of all over the place and more than anything it's uh i think that there's some uh i, I spoke to one member who described it as right now they all kind of feel like they're in a hangover after um the end of the special session and it you know just collapsed so spectacularly uh with nothing really coming out of it they spent you know two weeks in in the capitol uh constantly trying to pass something and nothing passed and for some that was a victory to not to not pass anything, but for a lot, it was just like, what were we even here for? Um, so to now, uh, you know, only have a couple of days off before they had to come back into um, the the regular session. I think that everybody's just a little tired of um, being in the Capitol and kind of feeling like they're dealing with the same issues constantly. I mean, for two years, we've heard nothing but shortfall, shortfall, shortfall. It's always about a billion dollars or something. Um, and, and it just kind of seems like, it's always the same debate, always the same argument. And I think that that's really what's kind of frayed some nerves.